Hi there. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to how to make a sort of custom locator in ArcGIS Online to kind of restrict the results, the search results. So the way you do so if we just look at search in here, if I type in London, let's say I'm in the, in the UK, you can see there's also um, it, it's gone to the world geocoding service. So that's the sort of default one. It's also uh, so it's brought up this this one in um, Canada as well. And you you may just want to totally restrict this to, to specific area, to um, you know to the UK or to Germany to Paris. You know you can restrict the locator so it just uses uh, it just searches within that geographic location. So the way the way to do that is what you've got to do is go to new item and create a locator over here. So create a locator view from the world geocoding service. So I'm going to create my view. Of course, we can we can um, attach to some custom geocoder service that you've got on ArcGIS server or something. But we're just totally within ArcGIS Online here. So I click Next and then say Right. So I say my um, I don't know um, custom locator um, for uh, UK. Let's say. So I'll just save that. So I'm going to make one so it only returns just the, the UK um, results. And it, and it says here straight away, it says you create a locator, um, you can now restrict the search uh, into the area you're interested in. How you do that? Well, in settings for this item, because this is just a, this is a custom locator, um, and you can, you can see it um, as an item. Call a locator in your content list. So it says what the main thing is under settings that you can change here. So what what sort of information are you looking to um, return it? Um, do you want to actually find? It can be place of interest, coordinates, addresses, and postcodes and stuff. So I'm just going to leave it on all types. But this is the key bit here. There are some other settings down here just about how the street names returned and stuff like that. But this is the key bit. So where do you want to search for locations? I want in particular regions or countries. So I sc could scroll all the way down, find UK, and there it is, and just add the UK. So I'm going to restrict it solely to return search results that are found within the UK. But you can see how um, there's other, uh, all, all the other countries are there as well. If you type in Paris, you may just want to be looking purely at France. So you'd, you'd, you'd set your kind of a France so I'm good I'm just going to leave it at that for the moment and save now let's go back to um, content uh, and go back to my web map open the web map and then click on search and on this um, down arrow, you can see that um, it's still got my original um, settings. So I've got the What Three Word service there. I've got an Esri BNG locator, and, I, and I've got some open names search as well uh, there as well. So, but where is that custom UK one? It's, it's just not there. Well, there's actually another step you have to do. So you can see the locator there. In my custom locator view, and it's called a, a locator view. So what you have to do is go to organization, click on settings. So under content, you see, and you can see that it's a, a locator view. But at the moment, it's just for me. It's just it's just mine. So I'm going to change this sharing. So click on the um, share icon and make it organizational. Okay, because I'm going to I'm going to make this custom locator. For the, for the whole organization. So when I go to organization and go to settings, under utility services, you'll see the geocoding ad locator sort of area. So I'm going to click ad locator and you see how it's picked it up from existing locator. So it's picked it up because it's organizationally shared and that's a key thing you, you have to do there because you, you're going to share it. Otherwise, you're going to um, specifically uh, use it within your own um, web map and API and etc. But when you do it here under organizational settings, you can make it available to to any user in ArcGIS Online. So uh, you can give it a name. 
uh, and just attach it and our batch geocoding on not and our geo search what, what, whatever I'm just gonna press save and the next thing I'm gonna do actually I'm, I'm gonna just drag this to the top of the list I'm gonna, just just for user friendliness sake it's gonna appear first all that sort of thing let's go back to my web map again click on the web map open it up click on search and this obviously would happen in um, experience builder as well and there and there it is my custom locator at the top there so now if I type in London uh, so it come up with everything in the UK N note how it still lists the other other locator services that you've got so it has this sort of black box horizontal line thing and and whatever it finds in other ones other locations other locators will be still in there but right at the top will be all the UK ones um, specifically and of course if I just click on my custom locator um, for um, that I just did so on this little drop down arrow I've only selected that one it will only return those anyway so I could actually I could get rid of the world geocoder and stuff and, and just go in on a final point so that, so that's that I've got one final point to make about this because what if you want a particular state so let's go to my custom locator again um, you want a particular uh, state or um, a particular area you see which which is is within a drawn sort of polygon well actually I need to say rectangle rather than um, a natural freehand polygon but so I can say within a specified area you see so you can you can type in the coordinates if I go to set area you see so you get this red box so I can type in the coordinates I could do it to Wales for example could do this and that will cover off Wales it's not precise it goes over the border a bit of overlap but it may it may do the job and, and reduce the amount of search results that that come through so I mean that that's um, that's a quick look at customer locator restricting uh, it's pretty it, it just makes for a more user-friendly um, approach uh, I think uh, especially when you know for sure that all your work is you know, based in a particular country so why are you returning res results for research from another country a key thing to note is when you're an ArcGIS Pro and you're connected to ArcGIS Online um, or indeed Portal if you've created the customer locator there if you go to locate uh, and click on search you will see your custom locator in there you see there it is and I could actually just um, I could either press the arrow button to move it to the top and and uh, so it's prioritized uh, or literally just just switch switch everything off so um, so now when I'm in locate and type the I will, you see I will get the same results as I do in ArcGIS Online so it does carry through from um, not just online, uh, the, the locate uh, tool that you made. So anyway, I hope you find that useful. Thank you.